If you're wanting to spruce up your curb appeal this spring, look no further than Rob's Flower Factory here in Gibson City. I have found Roger Kramer now. He's been busy getting everything ready. It is amazing out here. You've got such the assortment of flowers. Thank you. Thank you. We've been working really hard all winter growing all these plants for everybody in our communities. And you grow most of them here, like yes. you said. Yes, we do. We grow probably 90% of what we sell. <laughs> and uh, we're really proud of the fact that we grow a lot of our plants here in Gibson City. And then we take them out to Muhammad and we take them out to Paxton. And we also go to the Urbana Farmers Market. So lots of places to find you, but if they want to see your flowers in action, just look around the Champaign Park District, and you've got quite the, the variety. Yeah, we're real excited this year. We're providing just south of 50,000 plants for the Champaign Park District. So when you drive around Champaign this summer, you're going to see a lot of ROPS uh, bedding plants in their beds. Uh, all over the place and they do a fantastic job with their program and this is just a sampling of some of the colors and things that will be going out next week yeah. down to Champaign for them to plant. Sprucing up our community but if we want to spruce up our home there's an art to that potted plant and the yes. containers so why don't we go take a look we're going to walk this way because there's certain things you need to keep in mind when creating those containers what kind of things do we need to be thinking about? Well first off we have to decide whether we're going to have these plants in the sun or the shade. Okay. So part, part of it is plant selection. So, you know, investigate your plants, decide whether they're going to be in the sun, shade, or part shade, whether okay. it's going to be a hot location or a cool location. So these are really a great assortment of flowers here. Are these sun or shade? This is a mostly sun uh, planting here for verbenia, some begonias, some spikes. We have something for height. We have something that spills out, and we got the color. Yeah. You can't go wrong. Got to have that filler. Got to have that filler. Another thing that people probably don't think about, soil. You really need to use a good quality soil mix, not something too heavy, not something too light and fluffy. Make sure your containers have drainage. You'd be surprised how many containers that we bring in, and they have no hole in the bottom. So it, basically, you're planting in a bucket that holds water. Okay. So, in, you know, put a hole in the bottom of the, of the container, make sure it's got a little drainage, use a good quality potting soil. Okay. The other thing that we love for people to use, if they're like me, I use Osmocote. I think of this as just like a little lollipop. <laughs> okay? <laughs> okay. So every time the water hits this, it releases a little bit of the fertilizer, and it's good for like three months. So if you're like me and I'm terrible about getting out the miracle the grow and doing it and I forget and I'll do it next time, this is going to give you a baseline of fertilizer. It's going to create some beautiful plants. Works great. And one thing nice about it, it's really safe. It's not going to burn if you use it within right. I have burned parameters. plants before, so I yeah. know that that's not something you want to do. But now these are like planted things, but then you've also got the hanging baskets. Do we need to think of anything different when we're arranging our hanging baskets? Uh, there again, it's a, it's a, there again, when it's, you have to decide sun or shade, pick a plant that's appropriate. And remember when we have days when it's raining, that doesn't mean that that plant gets enough water. Mm -hmm. Just because it's rained doesn't mean that plant gets enough water. So you might have to add a little bit of water to it, even if it rains out or even if it's cool out, they still do dry out. Okay. There again, another thing, fertilization. If it's in a container like that, either fertilizing once a week for most of our plants, maybe every two weeks on some plants, uh, or using the Osmocote works great to give you a baseline. Still wouldn't be a bad idea to give them a little liquid feed. I always tell okay. them it's like having a dog. <laughs> okay? How's that? Well, your dog can whine and tell you <laughs> right? when he needs to be fed. Your plants not, can't really get that verbal. Mm. So it's like having a pet. you got to feed it. Okay. So feed your plants. Good tips. Now these you said were for the sun, right? Right. So what would be good ones for shade? Well, let me grab a basket here. Okay. This is a planter that we've done that loves the shade. Uh, we got some Taurinia here. We got some dragon wing begonia, which is absolutely, I call it bulletproof. Okay. You can leave for the weekend. 
it'll Not be fine. About it. It'll be tough. Got some fuchsias in here. Got some Beth's blue. Some more taurinia. And it's just a fantastic basket for the shade. Okay, so now one last question. When you're making these potted plants and you look at the, um, the little sticker that comes mm -hmm. with it and it says plant it so far apart, does that go for in a container? You can, it depends on the plant. Some plants need space to grow. They don't like to be overpacked in that container. Some plants don't mind uh, a high population in there, especially if you're wanting a look. Right. And I want it to be full and bountiful and beautiful right, right. and lots of color, but you know, I don't want to spread More it so apart. containers, you can, you can pack them in there a little bit more. Your ground beds tend to give them, you know, give, give try to space. give them the space that they need that's on the label. All right. Roger, thanks so much for having us Thank out here. Thank you so here. much. Come see us up in Gibson yeah. City. Yeah. Hey, bring your pots. He'll help you fill them here at Rob's Flower Factory in Gibson City, which we will connect you with at CILiving.tv after today's show.